whenever the national players go on to the pitch, these 11 players who are representing Singapore, they are fighting for our country, for our countrymen. This is one of the reasons why we should care about our football. There's a lot more in our football heritage than what we have seen or known in our national papers. Through this book, I hope that it transcends all generations. Even though many of them have passed on, this history that is already known on microfilm, that we are able to bring them to life. And I personally hope that the men and the boys are able to lift themselves up again to regain the respectability that their seniors, their predecessors used to have as being one of the serial contenders. You win, you cry, you lose, you cry. There's no substitute for hard work, like what my coach used to say. So it's actually training. You, know? yeah, you must put in a lot of time in training. You know? yeah. If you keep doing the same thing over and over again, you, know? you can actually master it. And then when you master it, when you play, you know? Everything becomes easy, you see? Yeah. But to get there, you've got to put in a lot of hard work. You keep telling yourself, are you ready? You keep telling yourself, are you able to compliment your teammates that are playing with you? But deep down, you always tell yourself why you are picked. You are picked because the coach knows that you are ready. So by the confidence that the coach show you and your teammates show you, you have to just bring up yourself. Match the challenges, match the confidence your coach gives you. Most of the most of the teachers tell me that I'm I'm a bit too small, no? I'm a bit too small for uh, to play football. And I tell myself, uh, the more they say no to me, I will keep on keep on uh, fighting and fighting to make sure that one day I I I, I play for Singapore. And uh, I God's will, eh? I I train hard. I I was there. I I I want to see much much better. Eh? Better performance, and I want to see Singapore game like you know, uh, in the in the 70s or the 60s or 50s standing. You know? I think we we, we 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 can achieve. You know, if you want, you know? Football is always a life, not a lifestyle for me. So I train very hard and I work very hard to get where I am. And my dream was always to represent Singapore. It's not easy, but I think uh, we need to adjust a lot of things, especially letting players, kids to play everywhere they want. I know it's not possible, but this is how we grow. We play on the street, under the void deck, under the campo, on the street, on the road, everywhere. Football is not always about the skill, it's about the will. Important is the will must be there. Because if you have the will, anything is possible. So that's very important, I think. Uncle Chu, he was basically our coach goalkeeper, coach, everything. We learn a lot because he instilled only one very simple fact to us. That is discipline. It brings out the best in us. If Singapore football can go back to the days that, that we were bonded, you begin to understand not only the game, you begin to understand each other. That is why that team, they, they gel so well.